everyone, welcome back to this Let's Play of Mortal Online. This is Fun Gaming Connoisseur, and um, and today what I thought I might do is I will continue to explore other parts of the world. So right now we're at, we're just outside the Tindrum uh, city gates, and uh, every, uh, you know the area looks clear. There are no murderers. So. Okay, so today I just, I'm gonna, um, yeah, when I get to the, uh, uh, that lake that I came across on, uh, during episode 18, um, this time I'm gonna head south, uh, instead of heading, yeah, instead of heading, uh, yeah, instead of heading east, I will head south. Just to check whether anyone's following. And so, um, yeah, thanks to uh, one of my viewers from uh, one of my episodes previous uh, who suggested that I should toggle on the uh, targeting reticle so that it stays on permanently. And I have done that. And I did find it quite useful, um, so that I don't have to always uh, hold down tab whenever I need to target something. And also I have enabled uh, directional attacking and blocking, and I have tried it out in the graveyard against the undead. And uh, it, it does seem to work quite well, so thanks to the person who uh, I can't remember the name, but um, yeah, thanks to the person who suggested that. Um, I will conti continue to uh, <coughs> sorry, continue to continue to try it out. The uh, directional attacking and blocking. And uh, also I have moved the compass out of the way. Um, now with the nameplates, I'm still not not too decided on whether to move it and resize it or not because I'm sort of used to having my nameplate, you know, on the top left and then the uh, target uh, nameplate on the top right. And uh, I have enabled the music once again because I do miss the music. Um, but I have um, significantly lowered the volume, so uh, so just bear with me in this episode, guys. Um, if it is uh, t turning out to be too loud, then I will turn it back, turn it off again, um, because you know, uh, for a lot of long time now uh, a, lot, a lot of my episodes have been without the game music and um, and I do kind of miss the music because you know it the music isn't too bad um, I do feel that the music does provide some measure of um, immersion so yeah so I, I decided to bring back the music um, so yeah uh, Hopefully, you know, it's not going to be too loud when I, um, you know, when I edit the videos and, uh, and so forth. By the way guys, I have been able to play this game in uh, full screen mode again. Um, I mentioned in uh, episode episode 15 and 16, I think it is, uh, that, uh, that, you know, in, in the recent uh, armor revamp patch, the, um, there has been some memory leak problems. Um, on my on my system, 
I don't, I'm not sure if other people have experienced the same problem, but basically, you know, after playing the game for 20 minutes or so, it will, you know, come up come up with a error message saying that uh, memory is running low and I need to close the client. But of course, I can keep playing uh, keep playing it without uh, without any issues. However, it's just that the mess message keeps coming up. That's uh, you know sort of very uh, annoying. But uh, since patch 15, uh, no, sorry, seven. I think it's 1.75.00.07. Um, it appears that Starvolt has fixed the uh, the um, memory running low error. So so well done to SV for doing the, for doing that. Because um, I really do enjoy this game and. Uh, So yeah. Okay, so that's the lake that um that I came across last time. And of course I continue to Yeah, if you remember from my episode eighteen I headed that way into the mountains and uh, of course I came across the uh the Minotaur cave. But today I wanted to head in a different direction. I want to head head on the on the roads. I'll go south or southeast, I should say. Now these are uh, uh, bandits. Yeah, I think these are bandits. I think these are highly dangerous, and so I'm not going to get too close to them my distance. Wow, that's an awfully huge pig. Don't know if it's a razorback. Yeah, it is a razorback. Wow, they're pretty big. Yep, they're bandits, so... Oh, some players. Okay, they're blue, so hopefully they won't attack me. Usually, usually when I'm out in the, in the wilderness, if I come across, you know, a group of players, um, chances are they they are red, you know, murderers or criminals, and then they, um, you know, they do tend to attack me. But uh, there are times when they are just blue players. But of course, if you're a new player and uh, and you're thinking of exploring. You know, just as you would in real life, um, take common precautions. Um, you know, if you're gonna stand still in an area, try and find somewhere to um, hide yourself, at least partially. I think that's the uh I think I might have crossed that bridge before, I'm not too sure.
and uh, wow, it is a pretty nice day out in the wilderness, in the world of Nave. Okay, we won't stop for too long. <laughs> um, I feel like you know stopping to look at the scenery, but but yeah, um, safety first. And uh, the sky is pretty blue today as well. So I guess that means that there won't be any rain. Because in the past, you know, when it's raining, the skies will be uh, sort of, uh, there'll be a sort of a red tinge, you know. I think these are Belbuses. So I've got to try and uh, not get too close to them. these rocks you see that way you know you only partially expose yourself you know in in this at, the, at least in this cone of view so that if there are any criminals or murderers on that side then they can't see you so funny you see the uh, NPCs popping popping into view they sort of drop to the ground like that you know it's kind of uh, a little bit comical but I guess that's how the game handles uh, you know uh, where the uh, mobs drop to the ground and I think these are wolves or some sort of uh, canine wildlife in this game are not to be trifled with as I've mentioned quite a number of times changing. Um, don't know whether that means something. Uh, you know, it's probably uh, probably to sort of go go with the with the fact that I'm in the wilderness, and you know, the wilderness is where a lot of uh, you know player killing can take place. But, um, but yeah, I really like um, how Star Vault has um, you know made the music so that it's uh you know it plays different music uh music uh, tracks based on the location that you're in so if you're in the uh, tindrum city then it plays sort of like a you know more of an orchestral orchestral uh, music track steep horse and if you're uh in the wilderness then it plays sort of different music as well and if you're going to the desert then it plays uh, you know more of a you know kind of the what I would consider the, uh, the Mortal and Lion theme theme music which is pretty cool in my opinion oh, okay I ran out of stamina in the 
middle of the grass grasslands. Um, yeah. Always look around. <coughs> So we'll just go, go as far as we can go, and if we need to break it up into uh, two episodes then uh, yeah, we'll try and do that as well, but, but yeah, I wonder what that is. Uh, looks like some sort of ruins maybe? Wow. Well, the wilderness is pretty uh, populated by wildlife, and the water looks pretty cool as well, in my opinion. It didn't it didn't used to look like that before. Before it used to sort of like um, it didn't have reflections. But now it, uh, yeah. There's some birds in the air as well. Too bad you can't, uh, you know, use bows and arrows to shoot them down. Or maybe you can. <laughs> Who knows? There's two towers there. Is that, uh, is, is that, do I, is that a Belbus that I see in the water? <laughs> oh, okay, so they can go in the water as well. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy. That means if I, if I go into the water, then I can get killed by, uh, by Belbus. Okay, clan beard. Okay. He looks like he's in rags, so... Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on that guy. You know, th there's no telling what, what he will do. And what is this? Is this a wolf? Dire wolf, okay. Don't get cl too close to that. Uh, now where can we go? Uh, are there any belbuses in the water? If I, if I decide to swim to the other side? No, let's just try. Yeah. Even though that play is green, I mean, sorry, blue, but, yeah, I like to keep a distance. Put a, uh, keep a safe distance between me and other players in the wilderness. Because you never know, they might just um, come up behind you and, you know, start attacking you. In this game you always have to be on guard, you know, never become complacent, because if you do, then it may very well just lead to your death when you least expect it. Okay, so it looks like he's not following me, okay, so, well then, uh, I think that's the ruins that we saw just now, and there's a Belvis sitting in front of there, so I'm not going <sighs> to, it's a... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, every time I, you know, want to go somewhere, there's always seems to be a monster, monster in front of me, and uh, so yeah, um, wow, this is the first time I've been to these places. Um, so I guess we will make this sort of like an open-ended um, exploration adventure. So I don't know where it will lead, but yeah, just 
however it turns out, then that's how it will be. Whatever will be, will be. <laughs> As the, um, I think there was a song that goes with that. Um, so yeah, with the music, uh, if you guys can, uh, if you guys find that the music is too loud, please um, leave a comment in the section below to let me know. And uh, and yeah, if it if it does turn out to be too loud, then next episode I will turn it off. It's a good thing I'm not exploring the wilderness at night time as well, you know, because there was an episode where I uh, did some exploring and it, uh, it was late at night and I could barely see anything, you know, I could barely see, you know, more than a few feet in front of me. And I wonder what this is, some sort of structure here. I wonder whether I can pick these or not. They look like pickable uh, plants. Oat. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> it's pretty cool how you can, uh, you know, pick. Uh, the local, you know, plant life and eat it. Now I wonder whether there are any NPCs in there. Anything dangerous in there that I should avoid or no, it looks like it looks like an empty uh Yeah, it is empty. Huh. I guess you know I suppose you know, if you wanted to, you could come down here and do some fishing in here. But anyway. So yeah, um, I really, really do like the uh, landscape in Mortal Online. Um, it really, it's, it's very nice to look at. Um, I think the uh, I'm guessing the developers must have spent a lot of time trying to make everything look look good. Um, wow, this is just yeah, it's really breathtaking in my opinion. Um, I like the landscape, the scenery. Well, let's let's keep moving. Uh, this is not a place to you know to be admiring the anything for too long. <laughs> open grasslands it's nice to look at but it's not safe for me <laughs> because you know um, out here uh, you know I really do you know stick out like a th uh, sore thumb um, any any uh, red players or criminals that uh, that are out here can easily spot me I think these are bears. And there's a priest there, so so it's good, you know. If for some reason you die, then you know. There's a place, there's a priest you can resurrect yourself. Yeah, I wonder what 
this is, so I'll pick that. Oh, that it's oats as well. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll eat it. No use me carrying carrying these around, so. Okay. <laughs> I've eaten as much as I can. I'm not sure if you guys saw something drop into the water just now. Um, is the water safe to swim across? Let's try and see. Let's, uh, let's back ourselves to this uh, building. Wait for my stamina to recharge. Yeah, I really wonder where the uh, where the next uh, city is. You know, because I really do want to find out how to get to other cities. Um, I still have that long-term goal of, um, you know, being, uh, you know, someone to help other players get to other cities. And that's why I made this uh, fighter character, you know. I think this is a player keep. wonder whether, whether it's safe to approach. Uh, will they let me in? kind of wondering whether if I get too close they'll start shooting arrows at me or... Well, I think these are sn night snatchers. Mounts. Okay, are these horses? Steep horse. Hmm. Wow, look at the uh, keep. Uh, looks pretty massive. And I'm assuming that these were built, uh, the palisades were built by the players as well. Okay, so look, it looks like um, it doesn't, uh, you know, there are no guards that shoot arrows at anyone that comes past, so thankfully for that. Um, yeah, I really wonder what's the time of day in this, in the, in the world of Nave, um, because, you know, along with the fact that there are no uh, in-game maps, mini-maps that you can use, uh, there are also no clocks, um, so you, it's very hard to tell what time of day it is. I guess that's part of the uh, immersion for this game, but you know, I guess maybe in future they can add player-made uh, clocks or something that can allow players to tell the time. There's a 
player there. Yeah. yeah. I think we won't, uh, you know, get too close to those guys. Um, never know what uh, what they might do. Uh, let's head this way. Okay, donkeys. Perfect hiding spot <laughs> for me to um, recharge my stamina. Okay, so there's some. Yeah, I, I think I think we'll end this episode when I get to um, that cliff over there. I want to I want to find out what that is. Could be a pl another player keep, or it could be uh, another city. So. Let's just keep moving. Yeah, I think they're dire wolves. <coughs> don't want to get too close. And I don't want to get too close to these on these things either. I think these are bears. So I think it's really funny how, you know, mobs just sort of drop into, onto the ground when you come across them. Um, it might be more, you know, it might be better if they made it so that it it just comes, you know, slowly fades into view. <coughs> you know, instead of dropping uh, onto the ground when you come across them, you know, maybe they can fade you know, into view. I think that would look better. Um, Yeah, that was a low battery uh, notification just now. So.
Okay, so can we scale this? Let's hope we can. Alright. <coughs> Okay, so I think it is a player keep, so it's not a it's not a another city. Um, but, um, but yeah, wow, look at this! I mean, it's amazing. Sceneries are very very good to look at. Especially when when you're on uh, on a mountain. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, I think I will continue my journey next time. So, thanks for joining me today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, please like, uh, give a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, uh, please leave it in the section below. <coughs> and uh, please share this video. Uh, if you can, um, you'll really help, and please subscribe to my channel. So thanks guys for watching, uh, this is Fine Gaming Connoisseur, and I'll see you next time. Take care.